where we are right now? Uh, yeah, That's along good. with cooler weather. We, well, we can hope. SA Live is trying to get us in the mood. That's right, we are. We are continuing to fall into fall on SA Live. And Christy Cuthbert, author of the Mischief Maker book series, is here with some great family fun crafts and games, Just right? Tons of fun stuff. But what is this? Because I thought it was something to dip the chips in. Yeah, no, <laughs> this is not your normal DIY slime your kids love. It's pumpkin spice DIY slime. It actually smells deliciously like fall. Oh my gosh, it does. Yeah, <laughs> and you can get all these, you know, little sequins and silly fun things to put in because my boys, they love texture in their slime. So now it's all about the mix-ins and things you can put in it. Slime it. has yet to go out of style, I've noticed. It's with evolving kids, okay? every day. So what is your favorite thing about fall? Scan that QR code and let us know. Cooler weather, fall sports, hiking, camping, fall holidays, pumpkin spice, or all of it. Right now, cooler weather is winning, and I I, I agree with that. I don't <laughs> what about you? Death, let's hope for cooler weather. Let's yeah, hope. I'd yeah. like it. If yep. Your heart is pure and you believe. And Jen is out at the Bernie Beer Fest. Hey there, Jen. Hey, yeah, we're actually previewing the Bernie Beer Fest here at Free Room Brewery. They are going to be one of the vendors there. What we're really getting ready for right here, Fiona, is the Stein Holding Competition. Mas Krug Stimmen is how you say that. Yes, okay, so we're going to work on that, and we will let you know all the details for the Bernie Beer Fest. Back you know, I'm going to let you know a secret. Jen is freakishly strong, so I've got my money on her for that Stein Holding Competition. All right, Chef Drea from Southern Grit, and Southern Grit to Go is here. What is the secret to the perfect brunch in two seconds? Oh, wait, sweet, savory. All right, more when we continue. All right, we're up to 90. Another hot day, 97 Friday. Hot weekend. Be prepared for heat index values above 100. The payoff hopefully comes Monday with some showers and storms and a little bit of cool down next week. Not exactly fall like, but better. 99 degrees. Oof. I like Jen's exercise activity she was doing. Yeah? That was, that was pretty good. Can get those biceps working and some southern style grits. Can't beat that. I'll put a little shrimp on there, a little lemon. SA Live starts right now. Friday as we continue to fall into fall because it's almost fall. It's an almost fall Friday and we're going to keep saying that until the temperatures drop. Good afternoon, I'm Fiona Gorstiza. So we want to know what's your favorite thing about fall? So go ahead and weigh in, scan that QR code that you see there on your screen. Is it the cooler temperatures? Sports? Is it pumpkin spice? Is it the holidays? Or is it all of the above? And I believe right now Yep, cooler weather still winning, and I think that's going to be the. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to say that one's for the win right there. All right, so continue to weigh in for us, and we'll uh, take a look at that a little later in the show. Bring on the bubbly! Yes, the weekend is here, and brunch lovers, well, this is your time. Get excited! It's the event you've been waiting and training all year for. <laughs> Jeff, Drea Prevo, owner of Southern Grits and Southern Grit to Go, and she is also the reigning champion of brunch, and Mike Anthony Torres, the man behind the San Antonio Thank Brunch you. Festival, uh, here to tell us all about it and how you can leave the festival with a crown all your own. All right, mm. so Chef Drea is going to put us to work, Mike yes, Anthony, let's okay? Do it. So you yes, won yes, last yes. year's festival yes, with what? What did you make? All right, so I made my signature shrimp and grits, mm -hmm. okay? And then I also did a uh, my take on uh, biscuits and gravy with a little bacon and a little smokiness. Mm -hmm. And then I did a brown butter banana French toast. Oh, everything she said was amazing. So delicious, <laughs> absolutely so delicious? amazing, one okay. of the best. All right, so, what, so we are going to be making that today, right? A different version, but yes. Different version, but yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so what's we've got Mike Anthony working right now. All right, so he's making the French toast batter. In that bowl, we have a little bit of brown sugar, mm -hmm. a little bit of um, sweet cream vanilla creamer here, um, some eggs. After that, you're going to dip your bread in there. Mm -hmm. Then after you dip your bread in the egg, you're going to back door and put it in the crunchy cinnamon toast crunch crumbles, so yes. nice and tasty. <laughs> and then you're going to put it in the butter filled pan. Okay. Okay, nice and ready for you. Ready? All right, so while I'm doing this, tell us, so what is the secret to a good brunch? 
Um, in my opinion, a balance of sweet and savory, okay? okay. Because, uh, you know, people out there, some people like sweet, some people like savory, so I have a balance of that um, in dishes on their own and, all, and also in one dish. Okay, and so Mike Anthony, tell us about the festival. You know, we put the San Antonio Brunch Festival back in nice. 2019, and the purpose nice. behind it was to be able to help a lot of the local brunch restaurants get yep. some promotions and advertising yep. and also make it into a friendly competition to where they can see who's the best brunch and who the people would vote for best brunch as well. So you mentioned the people, so how does the competition work? You mentioned the people are voting, the judges are voting. Yeah, okay. so we have uh, the best brunch award, which is based on the judges. Then you have the people's choice award, which is based on the people. So it's a really fun way to just show who's really nice. on top of their game when it comes to bringing brunch to the table. Bring brunch to, to the, the table. table. Okay. So Chef Drea, speaking of bringing brunch to the table, yes, what is your strategy for winning this year? Well, really, no strategy, you know, just right. come, <laughs> come with a positive energy, positive attitude, belly blessing goodness, and punch them in the mouth with flavor. Yes! Okay? Yes. She's coming I love in, that. Yes. Coming in under the radar yes. this year. Yes. Okay. So she won Best Brunch Award first place and first place People's Choice Award. So she took the crown, like, you all swept. together. Took she swept. swept. Swept it. Took back the, back the to crown. Back. You just yes. yanked it. You yeah. just take it. Give me that. It. Give okay. me here. <laughs> all right, so what else is on the menu? Well, uh, today I'm doing a um, shrimp, a Cajun style shrimp, okay? Mm -hmm. And this goes on top of the signature grits, all right? Okay. So we got some Cajun seasoning on some shrimp here, marinating, and then we're, you can flip that, that's ready for okay. you, okay? And then we're gonna, um, yeah, nice and golden. There we go. Golden, mm. golden, golden. So good already. Yes. Golden, golden, golden. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. So we're gonna put this shrimp right on top of my signature grits and top it with a little cream sauce. Very tasty. Okay, and Mike Anthony, you also give back to a nonprofit organization, right? Yes, ma'am. So every year, uh, based on uh, the best of the soul of my mother, she taught me always to give back to the community. So every time we have any kind of festivals or events, we give back to the community, to a nonprofit organization. A portion of the proceeds goes to them. And this year, we have the Ferrari Kid as our nonprofit. Nice. Okay. And uh, as far as other vendors, uh, can you name a few? Yes. Who are yes. Be there? Yes. So we have Alamo Business Company, Sorry Sorry Super Club, uh, Super Club uh, Lady Bird Garden, and Gold Feather Birds. We have Never Late Diner. We have uh, Taste of Tucson, which is a brand new brunch restaurant. We have Culture Vibe Dining, Pure Hearts, Smoke Texas Downtown, that's where it's gonna be at, and they do provide their own twist of brunch. You have Beyond Flavor, you have Hots Catering, you have Hacienda South Town, and plenty more food. Woo! Like, it's just 17 brunch vendors all the way around, providing unlimited brunch bites to everyone. So if you have a VIP ticket, a, a general admission ticket, regardless, you're going to get unlimited brunch bites throughout the whole event. Yes, okay, and bring your appetite. And there yes. was also entertainment besides the food, right? Yes, yes, so our local Great. band that we Great. have Great. coming Great. back again is the E7 band, and then one of the most popular DJs in town, DJ Mystic, uh, well known throughout the city, uh, considered one of the top oh, DJs wow. uh, for us. Okay, and some other festivals coming to the Alamo City soon? Yes, so we're, we'll be launching uh, on October 13th, Friday the 13th. Sure. Uh, we will have the very first San Antonio Pizza Festival. Uh -huh. So uh, it's, it's amazing to know that, that uh, we're able to launch something like this incredibly and seeing the love and the response throughout the city. Uh, if you go to other markets, it's crazy because like Dallas, I believe, right. is on their seventh or eighth one, but San Antonio never had one. So we're bringing that to the city this fall. And bringing a deal to our viewers, right? Yes, yes, yes. Especially like right now too with the uh, brunch uh, festival. So the online ticket sales uh, were closed, but for you guys, we're opening them up today, Ooh. back open for a 10 hour flash sale between Ooh. 2 p.m. to midnight they will receive 10% discount with a promo code of SA Live. See, we take care of you. No, yes. Thank you for watching the show. There you go. All right. <laughs> okay, the fourth annual San Antonio Brunch Festival happening tomorrow, September 23rd at 11 a.m. at Smoke Texas downtown. For tickets, we set up a link to our website. Just go to salive.com. All right, well, from brunch of fun to a beer fest in the Hill Country. There are lots of events you can fall into this weekend, and Bernie is hosting their sixth annual beer fest, and Jen Tobias-Trusky is out there live. Hey there, Jen. <laughs>
Hey, yes, we're at Free Room Brewery. They are actually helping to gather all the different breweries that are going to come together tomorrow. And so we thought, hey, let's get a preview of it. And one of the vendors, because you got to eat with the, pe with, the, with the beer, right? I got, I'm looking at pizza. We have Pizza Texas Pizza Works here with us, Eric Ferrer joining me now. And you guys will be at Bernie Beer Fest tomorrow, right? Absolutely. We'll be there all day. Um, it's a great event. We were there uh, last year. Um, packed with people, a lot of fun, um, plenty of pizza, plenty of beer. All right, and these are we actually got really busy here yeah. while we were here. So you're actually making some pizzas right. here. Right, these are for gonna customers. Go so ahead we're and put go those in the oven. It. And then what we are going to work on as Eric is putting these, what's really cool, by the way, is the oven that they have, they go to different parties. It's mobile. So if you want to hire them for an event, uh, any special occasion, that's what they do. They show up with their oven and they can knock out pizzas for you. And one of their signature pizzas that will be featured tomorrow is the carnivore. The carnivore. So we're going to work right. on that now. It's like an all meat pizza. Sounds great. So what we're going to do is put a little semolina down so it's easier to stretch. Okay. Make sure we have a round form and then press from kind of like the inside and work your way out to make a crust, okay. right? Okay. So and how long have you, you been doing have, this? Um, I've been doing this for a while, <laughs> but the business itself is about, a, I'm about a year into it. Uh -huh. So we're fairly new at it, but you know, it's something that we enjoy doing. So it's, it's great. Well, I love the concept, how you yeah. can go different places. Okay, Mobile so how am I doing? <laughs> Good. And then when you stretch it, uh -huh. make sure you have that semolina under there mm -hmm. so it slides around and doesn't mm -hmm. stick to the table. Work kind of like one hand pushes to the out and the other one pushes okay. out the other way. And then you just roll it around and stretch it slowly so you don't tear it. Okay. <laughs> kind of like, uh, patting your head and uh -oh. you know rubbing your stomach yeah, <laughs> kind of thing not easy you gotta get yeah. the groove here right and then you get it to about we're doing about 12 inch in size okay Working we'll just on stretch it, it. That's, okay that's good you go ahead. No, you're good <laughs> thank you what's your favorite thing about beer fest coming up tomorrow beer fest well, well it's just the amount of people that come out and they're all friendly you know you get to meet everyone mm -hmm. and it's just a great time it's a great en environment atmosphere Okay, a lot see, of I fun. got a little bubble there. Okay, great. Okay, okay. so we are going to finish off now and add the topping. So what goes on the carnivore? The carnivore, it's a uh, pepperoni. Then we have salami, a spicy Italian sausage, mm. and a smoked bacon that goes on that. Sounds so it's a lot of meat. Smoked bacon, too. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're going to finish up the pizzas. But if you are interested in Bernie Beer Fest, the event is tomorrow from 1 to 6 at the Agricultural Museum and Arts Center, which is near the soccer fields in Bernie. So, uh, of course, there's going to be a Stein holding contest, uh, which we were getting, gave you a preview of that earlier. We have people inside ready to do that with us in the second half of the show. Right. And, of course, they're the ones ordering all the pizza, right? I know. they're here to it, do the contest. It got busy all of a sudden. <laughs> so but that's we're, great. We're finishing these actually for customers and we're going to continue to work on this but again second half of the show we're going to do some stein holding are you going to do it too eric you're too busy right for uh, the pizza. we'll see yeah we'll see thanks <laughs> eric i'm gonna toss it back to you fiona <laughs> jen i have every confidence in you thank you so much we're going to check back with you in a few minutes <laughs> it's still ahead on the show <clears throat> a family and veteran owned business brings a different style of barbecue to the Lone Star State. How you can try it and check out their one of a kind barbecue parfait. But first, this fall, the best festival could be at your own home. We're showing you some fun games, <laughs> treats and decorations you can make yourself and it won't cost much and it'll bring a lot of laughs. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, there's no reason why the most fun you can have can't be at home, and it saves some money, and all the more reason to party. And Christy Cuthbert, author of the Mischief Makers books, is here to make us look incredibly silly <laughs> and show us easy and inexpensive, fantastic, family fun ideas. This is already, I mean, <laughs> paying off. What is this game? Okay, it's called Apple Smack, and Apple you're right. Smack. You don't need a lot of money. You just need to laugh and have a good time. <laughs> So anyone in the family can play. You put a trouser sock over your head with a nice big fall apple inside. Okay. And we're going to swing them around without our hands and try to knock over as many solo cups as we can. So, okay, red solo cups, okay. You can time it. You can put points on them. 
Oh, you're killing it. Hey. You are killing it, Fee. Oh, Woo. no. Wait. I love it. Yes. Okay. All right. I don't know if that's... A I don't know if that's a good talent I suddenly realized I have. Yeah, exactly, a hidden talent. A hidden talent, you would win this game at home, for sure. I know my kids laugh really hard playing it, it's okay. fine. I love how you took yours off already, I still have mine on, okay, hold on. All right, so um, after that, you've probably worked up an appetite. Yes, and it's fall, but we're also in South Texas, so we're gonna make caramel apple nachos. And I'm telling you, if you make this at home, you will win the after school snack prize from your children. Oh my gosh. It's just a big old tray of sliced apples, any kind you want and you're just gonna top it like you would nachos but with the things that you would put on a caramel apple so we've oh, got oh my goodness caramel we've got nuts chocolate I mean sprinkles you can kind of doctor it up whatever you like on your apple you can put on there and it's a crowd pleaser my boys had it the other day after school and we're like can you make this every day please oh they my god it. well and look at how easy yeah. and the kids can even help absolutely and it's delicious and it's delicious okay and we'll finish it off here with a little bit of this okay and what do we have here because this is the yeah this is our craft our craft yeah okay. we're making a yarn pumpkin okay um these are messy i got you a pair of gloves and i've got a pair too here okay. so it's it's messy, which your children will love, but also it's just school glue. So it's nothing that's gonna stain. Um, it peels off of everything. You're gonna blow up a balloon, uh -huh. um, and then you're gonna just take some orange yarn and a bowl of white school glue. Okay. And you're gonna cut some strips of the yarn, like we have here, right? I see. Dip it into the, into the glue. Glue. And you're just gonna kinda make sure, it doesn't have to be doused in glue, but just enough so that it has a little bit on there stick. To stick. Yeah, Every and then so you're just often. gonna, yeah, do a million strips, wrap them around, let the kids do it. Um, it's just a super sticky, fun project. Once you have it wrapped to the level you think it's good enough, you're gonna let it sit and dry for 24 hours. And uh, so it will look. Yeah, we have one ready to go here if you want to pop the balloon inside with those scissors. And you'll see it kind of shrinks up for a, I didn't a think this second. Through. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. It kind of shrinks up for a quick second. And then you kind of just zhuzh it a little bit. Is everybody bit, ready? It'll pop to life. Oh, okay. All that right. Was, <laughs> so it'll shrink up a bit. Underwhelming. <laughs> okay. It'll shrink so, up a bit. And then you peel off the balloon part and you get what we have over here. Like these are the finished see. product. So it'll kind of just. Pop yeah, back. it'll come off of the balloon and then it'll pop back out into a sphere. Gotcha. And so you just add a little pipe cleaner stem and a little vine and you have these pumpkins over here. We did those yesterday with my kids. Oh my gosh, I love it. And look at those, they're, they're pretty sturdy. Yeah. They're pretty sturdy. This one's still, still yeah, going. Yeah, he'll come around. He'll, he'll come, come around. around. He's okay. got to kind of shrink down and pop back up. But <laughs> you get the gist of it. <laughs> okay, so you have a new book coming out. It's part of your Mischief Makers book series. Yes. Tell us about it. Yes, Mischief Makers, big book of awesome ideas. It will keep your kids occupied. We're going to do a digital download version of it for anybody in our book club for free. And I like the digital download because there's a million things in there that you want to do over and over and over again. So why cut the page out of the book? You can print it as many times as you want. We have everything from teaching them future careers like game building and bake sale skills to just fun word searches and pranks. And it's I a blast. love that. Boredom busters. Boredom busters. You need them. Absolutely. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? And what's your favorite part of the day? Sleeping. Okay. Um, all right, all right. Okay. And families, can, of course, can get all the ideas there, and they can be a part of the book club. How do they right. do that? They just go to mischiefmakerbooks.com. Um, they can sign up there for free. And like I said, if you sign up, you're going to get a digital copy of the book when it's done. Should be right before the holidays. Okay. Um, for free. All right. Loads Christy of fun. Cutler, author of Mischief Makers Books. Thank you so much for those fun games and tasty treats. For more information on the Mischief Makers Books and book club. Just snap that QR code on your screen, head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead on SA Live, we're back out live, getting ready for Bernie Beer Fest. We check out one of the most popular and difficult parts of the festival. And next, the host of Inside Edition is coming to the Alamo City. Hear what's bringing her to town and how you can win VIP tickets to the event. It's all straight ahead on SA Live. Hi, I'm Deborah Norville from Inside Edition. I'll be coming to San Antonio to take part in the Ecumenical Center's Legacy of Hope Luncheon. It'll be happening on Thursday, October 5th, and we're going to have a lot of fun, so I hope to see you there.
Oh, well, you just heard it here. The host of Inside Edition coming to San Antonio to share her story at the Red Berry Mansion and help sponsor the great work of the Ecumenical Center. And the big event is on October 5th. And Dick and Kristen Tips from Mission Park are here to tell us all about it. They, of course, work with the Ecumenical Center. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Of course. Now, Kristen, tell us about Deborah Norville's connection to the center. Oh, this is so special. You know, she's an award-winning um, um, anchor. She has got Inside Edition here. But, you know, she went through struggles when she um, got that promotion. And she got through them through mental health. And she's written incredible books now, Chicken Soup for the Soul. She even teaches knitting. And she is coming to tell her story right here in San Antonio. This is a huge deal um, to support the Ecumenical Center. And speaking of supporting the Ecumenical Center, for those who don't know, tell us what it is and how it makes a difference in South and Central Texas. It makes a huge difference. Uh, they, they offer counseling to uh, people of all ages, military, but more importantly also, they are a level one trauma counseling center. So they are the people that are boots on the ground for things like El Paso, Sutherland Springs, and Uvalde and immediately set up a family resilience center that's still there today and still offering the same counseling in Sutherland Springs. It's so important, the work that they do, and they have pet therapy, music therapy, but it's all around, and we're lucky to have them here. Absolutely, and Dick, what does Mission sure. Park do to, you know, they partnered with the event, tell us a little bit how. You know, we wanted to get a little bit more top of, one, top of mind awareness, Fiona, and, and the reality of it is having somebody like Deborah Norville, who has her own struggles, and, and a lot of things we just don't want to talk about. It's all about having fun, and that's what this show is all about, but we appreciate the partnership with KSAT 12 to be able to bring her to San Antonio, Inside Edition, and to be able to tell her story about mental health. And let's talk about how folks can get tickets. Mm -hmm because they're still available, right? They are still available. They can get them at, uh, there should be a QR code yeah, or right they can go to the ecumenicalcenter.com, um, that, that'll come up. But anyway, that's how they can get them and there are still some tables available. It's gonna be a very, very, very special event. Yes, there it is on your screen. You can scan that QR code to get the tickets for the Legacy, Legacy of Hope Luncheon. And so tell us, what does it mean to you to have this happening? Oh, it means so much because I've been there with some of the counselors. I've been there uh, with the CEO and, and the, what they offer for people is incredible. And it's what makes, I think, the world a better place when everyone can feel happy inside. Okay. And there is a contest, right? A VIP giveaway. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Okay. Yes. Well, so there's a VIP giveaway for uh, two special tickets so that you can come and hear Deborah Norville and learn about just some of the things that she's going to talk about that are upbeat and positive. Uh, in the business that we're in, we, you know, we're here and a lot of people struggle that are left behind. And we want to help those people to make life better for them right now and lives well and recognize life well lived. We also have something else for you. What? And so on the inside edition of this little catalog, wherever I'm supposed to be putting this, I shall. <laughs> But inside is a signed autograph for you. Oh so Fiona, thank you for letting goodness. us be here with you today. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. That's and so And we've watched cool. all the fun things that you've done here today, and you deserve, you deserve to learn a little bit about <laughs> that do. mental health. Yes, you do. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, so they are giving away two VIP seats to KSAT viewers, along with a chance to meet Deborah Norville, and you can enter to win right now on our website, salive.com. And for more information on the Legacy of Hope Luncheon happening on October 5th at the Redberry Mansion, visit the Ecumenical Center's website, ecrh.org. Thank you so much to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Still ahead on SA Live, don't miss your shot. Two free plane tickets to... Oh, that's right. Next on SA Live, pardon me. Have you ever had a barbecue parfait? We get a taste and find out what other great food this place has for your game day eats. You don't want to miss this. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, this family and veteran owned business is bringing Midwestern style barbecue to South Texas. And Dimitri and Cherise Heron, owners of the Purple Pig Barbecue, are here to show some of their most popular items and tell you about a fall event they have coming up. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. All right, now we're still pulling stuff out here, so what are we going to be making first? The nachos? Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and get some of that out. Right. And while we're getting that ready, Dimitri, tell me what makes it Midwest-style barbecue? Uh, very simple. Hey, uh, pork. We're big on pork. Uh -huh. Sauce is the boss. Sauce is the there boss. I and like that. And 
What are you smoking on? We use pecan wood versus mesquite or oak. Okay, so pecan wood, and that's what sets it apart. And the nachos, what are we gonna do? So, we are going to build our barbecue brisket nachos. Ooh, all right, okay. So we've got, we've got the nachos there. Yep. All right, now what's next? All right, you'll slather on some cheese. Okay, now is there any secret to this cheese? No. No, it's just, okay, you got you it. You can go as wild or crazy as you like. Okay, there we go, okay. All right, and then you're gonna just grab as much brisket as you like. <laughs> 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 no, don't tell me to do that. I will pile this uh, thing high. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> and then you'll add our oh. sauce. What, what's your spice What's the most level? popular one? Hot, mild, or sweet? Mild. Mild? Well, the mild is a popular one. The hot is very hot. You know, we got a lot of people. I like spicy, you know, it's hot. So yeah, the mild hot. is probably better on the brisket. The mild, the mild is probably better yeah. on the brisket? Okay. Or you can mix it. Can, can mix I do it? half? Can yes. I do half mild? Just got to remember which side it's on. Okay, and then hand me the hand, hand, hand me the hot. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Here we go. Wait. Oh. Okay. All right. So I've got this side is mild. Remind me. I'm just gonna leave it just like this. This side mild. That side hot. Okay. So how did the purple pig barbecue get started? All right, so purple is my favorite color, and because we primarily do pork, you have the purple pig. <gasps> okay, and I gotta tell you, this is the first time I've ever seen or heard of this, and this is a barbecue parfait? Yes. All right, so how? Wh what's in it? It starts off, it's layered with mac and cheese, <sighs> barbecue baked beans, mm -hmm brisket or you can change it to pork or chicken if you like um, then you put the sauce whatever your spice level is and then it's topped with potato salad topped with potato salad okay and it's not just this that you have there you no. have other items kind of walk me through what we've got here what's this this is our barbecue pulled pork sandwich okay these are our famous rib tips that's what we're known for what what's the sauce on that uh, mild. Mild. Okay, it's just good to know. Okay. <laughs> All right, and what's over here? Then we have our pork rib, pork spare ribs. Uh huh. Uh, and then we have our pulled, barbecue pulled chicken sandwich with our signature slaw as well. Now, you said one of the most popular items are the rib tips, right? Yes. Tell yes. us why. Yeah. So, uh, rib tips is a, is a Midwest uh, cuisine. Uh -huh. um, a lot of people, especially around Chicago, Indiana area, they love their rib tips, you know. So, we brought those here to, uh, to San Antonio, and then there's, there's, oh man, that's. That's great, you know, we can't get rib tips unless we get them in Chicago or Indiana or some places like that. So, especially the, that best all the rib tips that we do. Good to have it right here, yes. Now you've got your third annual Thanksgiving give back coming up, right? Tell us yes. about that. So, um, anybody can come into the restaurant, they can choose to dine in or they can choose to take it to go. They come in on Thanksgiving Day, they will share Thanksgiving dinner with our family as well as we've also partnered with the Discovery Church. Uh, they'll be helping us serve people or um, they can package it and take it to go and enjoy it at home in the comforts of their own home. I love that. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to take a bite here with the hot and just see what happens. I may have to have you take us home. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna read this first. First of all, Army, Air Force, thank you so much for your service, right? Thank okay, you. Air you. Force, Army, okay. Yes. All right, for more information on the Purple Pig Barbecue, just snap that QR code on your screen or head to our website, you know what to do. Oh, it's sneaking up on me. Yo, that's hot. It's hot. I've got some cake. We tried I've got some yet. cake. I've got some cake. All right. Next is Jen out live getting ready for beer fest. That's right. Everybody here is getting ready, right? Are your arms ready, guys? We have a Stein holding contest coming up. We'll see how they do. A little bit of everybody here just ready to do it. I don't know. You think I can handle it? All right. Stay with us. All right. And don't forget to vote on our question of the day. Just scan that QR code. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you still have time to practice for the Mugs Brutstamen competition at the Bernie Beer Fest, which means 
Beer Steinholding. And the latter is easier to say. And our Jen Tobias Trusky is live from Free Rome Brewing Company in Bernie getting a preview of the competition ahead of the Saturday event. Jen, I know you've been training all year for this, right? Yes, yes I have. Hey, good pronunciation, Fiona. Yeah, we are ready for this Steinholding competition. You see my arm shaking already? Okay, so we're gonna start the clock. Hold on, guys. Hold on, let's put them down. Ready? We'll count you down in three, two. Okay, there they go. So they're holding them. Now, what are the rules? Brandon's joining me, by the way, the general manager here at Free Roam Brewing Company. So what do they need to do? Uh, they need to keep their arm extended. Uh, you, can't use, <laughs> you, you can't use any other body part for help. You gotta keep your arm extended flat out just like that for as long as you can go. Okay, all right, and you can't take a sip, you can't- You can't take a sip, you can't bend your elbow, you can't do anything. Okay, this is a true sport, by yeah. the way. Uh, let's talk beer fest now, Brandon, cool. while you're working on that. So what do people need to know if they want to come out tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, uh, show up early, uh, VIP hours from 12 to one, general missions one to six. Um, just be considerate of the parking. There's a ton of parking. It's a, in the agricultural park in Bernie, so there's tons of parking all around. You'll be able to, you know, park easily. So. Um, but yeah, just uh, be ready. It's going to be a warm day. It's been warm all week, so I mean, we're expecting a warmer day. Mm -hmm. So drink plenty of water, hydrate, yes. make sure yes. you and get on those parts. How many different breweries will be featured? So we'll have up to 30 different breweries, uh, mostly regional breweries. We're having breweries as far as, as, far as Houston, 8th Wonder Brewing from Houston. Um, uh, Lone Pint, which uh, makes Yellow Rose, which is a staple beer in the yes. state of Texas. Um, and then Laredo, we've got 5x5 five five Brewing. A, a bunch of cool breweries that we haven't had in the past will be here, and so we're really looking forward to that. And what a community here in Bernie. Let's check in real quick. Okay, how's everybody doing? Yep. Okay, y'all are doing great. Yes, we have a minute 30 left in the segment. We'll see All right. Man, y'all are doing wonderful. <laughs> All right, okay, we got our job. first, first down. Yes, yes. Uh, so It's huge, yeah. and we love it, and we, we're all about it. We're, um, the cool part is when we moved to town, everybody welcomed us with open arms, so it's just one big friendship community. We do things together. Uh, <laughs> next week, we're doing Oktoberfest all together, so I mean, it's just a tight-knit community, even outside of the breweries. We work with our good friend Joey from Dog and Pony. Um, he's embraced everything that we're doing, everything that Cibolo Creek's doing, Tusculum. So it's really cool to be a part of such a, you know, craft beer is just such a community-based uh, industry and we're, we're lucky to be a part of it. Oh, all right, there goes one more. Okay, we've got a winner. Oh, wow. All right, good wow. job. What does he get me growing up? But yeah. hey, by the way, I hear that the Steinholding Association is actually whoever wins at the Bernie Beer Fest, they can actually go on to, to the state, state competition. Yeah. This is a sport, everybody. Yeah, and this is the first year that we're actually involved in the state side of it. And so it's a big deal because Whoever wins the state uh, competition goes to the national competition. That is amazing. Okay, again, the first time. So go out there, get your arms ready. You still have some time to train. Uh, if you do have a VIP ticket, it includes you know, reserved seats, food, meet and greet. With, yeah, uh, Gary P. Nunn, who's a local Hill Country legend in the country music scene, and uh, super stoked to have him out. Um, yeah, the VIP hour is going to, or the VIP tickets include a meet and greet with Gary P. Nunn. Um, you know, tents, all that good stuff. All the things. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you guys so much. Thank you, everybody, for participating. And we're going to send it back to Fiona. I guess I could try. I don't know how long I'll last, Fiona. <laughs> uh, I'm not right, going to ask. Going. You're doing so well. You're doing so well. So I'm going to make sure we jump out right now so you continue to do so well. Thank you so much, Jen. Okay. All right, next Thank on you. SA Live, the San Antonio International Airport is offering a new nonstop flight to Europe. Everything you need to know when SA Live continues. But first, Cirque du Soleil show is coming to town from November 5th through December 3rd at Nelson Wolf Stadium. Discover the bizarre world of Cirque du Soleil Bazaar where acrobats soar through the sky, artists contort on stage, and dancers sway to the music. And you can enter to win a four-pack of tickets with premium seating. Just go to salive.com, click on the sweepstakes article. The contest will run today through September 24th. Again, just go to salive.com to enter to win, and good luck. 99, 100, no, I'm just kidding. Welcome back to SA Live in Historic Market Square. It's beer fest season and the home of Oktoberfest 
is Germany. And soon, you're going to be able to fly there non-stop from San Antonio. But don't worry, this isn't, uh, you, you don't have to do this first to get that, right? All right, joining us right now, Prost, gentlemen. Yes, is uh, Jesus Sainz, Director of uh, Airports with the San Antonio Airport System, and Miko Tortionen, okay, with Condor Airlines. Perfect. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Glad All to right, be here. so this is a big deal, right? How big? It is bigger than big. <laughs> First time ever transatlantic service between San Antonio International Airport and Europe. Getting into Frankfurt, Ger Germany is just going to be the best thing that's happened in San Antonio for the summer of 2024. We could not be more excited about uh, this announcement that we have and being able to connect not only San Antonians as we talk about the beer fest, everyone out there in Bernie yeah. excited to get to, to Germany. And, and not just Germany, Germany and beyond, to be able to connect there is just awesome. Right, because Frankfurt, I mean, you can connect pretty much to anywhere from there, right? You're okay. in Central Europe. You can go anywhere. And you guys celebrated so big, you even had a cake, right? We did. The announcement was big. The, the area that we announced it is probably still shaking right now. Hmm. Uh, and that cake, as it is with any marriage that you have, <laughs> the San Antonio International Airport is marrying with Condor. Um, the transatlantic service is exciting, so we had to have a big reveal of a cake a representation of not only Texas and San Antonio, uh, we've even got some barbacoa tacos and the big red in there, but also everything associated with Condor. Absolutely. Look at how representative that cake is, okay? And Miko, how are the fairs? Because tickets are on sale now, right? Uh, the fairs are lovely, and I have to say, I love being here. Uh, if we look at next summer, it's the peak season for travel into Europe, and we have round trip fairs including taxes, in the economy, starting at about $1,000. But then if you want to splurge a little bit, let's say you have an anniversary or a birthday or, just or, because. or a honeymoon or just because, <laughs> business class under 300, including taxes, round trip, unheard of. Under 3,000? And if you look at, you know, maybe some other places in Texas uh -huh. that are flying into, into Frankfurt, our prices are half of that of what they're offering for a product that I would say could be even better than theirs. So it's definitely worth it. I like that because you can even have the, the lie flat experience, You can right? sleep on that lie flat and some say it's better than at home. That is the dream. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's talk about what the airline is like. So Condor, we've been around since 1956. We're not a new kid on the block or a new airline on the block. We're in the midst of, of renewing our whole fleet. So we're going with the Airbus 330s, and next summer, as of May the 17th, three times a week, we're gonna be flying with that beautiful aircraft, brand new aircraft from San Antonio nonstop into Frankfurt. It's the latest technology. It's, it speaks to the comfort for the passenger. The service on board is fabulous. You get meals are included. You have great entertainment if you wanna watch a movie, or then, like you said, if you're in business class, just take a sleep on that <laughs> live yeah. flat. It's, but it, it's, it's an amazing aircraft. I can't speak about it enough. You just gotta try it out and, and really experience it yourself. Okay, and real quickly before we go, the colors have significance, right? Uh, yeah, you have to trust the stripes. So, so our brand livery, our whole brand, it's in five colors. Each color represents something a little bit different. So we have red, which is passion. I have a little bit of that, but it's about the passion. The green, it's about the islands. The blue is about the sea. The beige is about the, the sand, and the yellow is about the sun, so. Uh, Thank you, Miko. So it's a little bit of everything and something for everybody. Book your flight, the new nonstop flight from San Antonio International Airport to Frankfurt, Germany. For more information, just visit the Condor Airlines website, condor.com. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Monday on SA Live, we're showing you a perfect pairing for brunch and where they're hosting a big event for the upcoming eclipse. Plus, want some beautiful decorations for your home? We're going to show you where you can create one-of-a-kind decor. It's Monday at 1 on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you what's your favorite thing about fall? Scan that QR code way in. Cooler weather for the win still at 54%. Keep voting. Don't forget, non-stop flights to Frankfurt, Germany with Condor Airlines. Tickets on sale now.